Okay, now that we have our uh, artwork laid out on a piece of paper here, we'll put it in the scanner and scan it into uh, Photoshop. Okay, so now we'll go into Adobe Photoshop here. We'll uh, select import from our import list. Bring up our scanner. So here's our items that uh, that we're going to scan. Just select the marquee around them here. And hit uh, scan. So once we have them in uh, in here, we'll go ahead and close out our uh, our scanner software, and then we'll save this. I've got a little uh, folder here that I use just for scans. This will be a uh, Proline Slash. Let's save that. So now that we have it saved, we can go ahead and close it out and we'll bring it into Adobe Illustrator here. This is where uh, we create the artwork actually for the cutter file. Uh, all the cutter uh, files are a vector art, so they see it by lines, which allows them to, uh, to cut everything out. So now that we've got Adobe Illustrator up, we'll go ahead and select a uh, new file here. And we will place our file that we just created here. So we'll go to our scans folder and proline slash. So there's our uh, file now placed in there. What we'll do is we'll change the, uh, the transparency on that, make it a little lighter. That way when we're tracing over it, it's a little bit easier to see and we will also lock that selection there too so that we can't move it as we start to trace. Take our pen tool and we'll do a, uh, we'll do a simple outline here across the body. Change that uh, background there to uh, Thing. And then a lot of times I'll change the color of the line so I can see it a little easier. You'll see we've got a basic square there. Uh, from here, we'll go ahead and we will uh, we'll round our corners, which will help give that, uh, that window the, uh, the shape that we're looking for. We're just going to change this anchor point here. Let's pull it out a little. use this come across and we will now have a nice curve that matches the uh, the window shape here and we'll do the same thing to the uh, to the top Now if I want, now I can uh, give it a, uh, an offset path within it, which I like to do to, uh, to give the window uh, some outline. So I'll typically out offset the path maybe uh, 10 pixels. We'll do a little preview on that. 
you can see the outline path there, I want that to be a little bigger. So we'll go up to 15 pixels, take a look at that. Sorry, minus 15 because we want it to be on the inside. And that's looking a little bit more uh, like what I'd like. That way I can do a silver outline uh, with some rivets on it. We'll just double check here and make sure how minus 20 pixels looks. That's a little bit more what I'm looking for. So we'll go ahead and lock that one in. And now we have a perfectly traced uh, inside section too that will uh, automatically uh, weed itself. So we'll go through and we'll do the rest of the artwork here and then we'll be ready to cut. Okay, now that we've got all of our uh, artwork here in our cutting file, uh, we'll send it to the cutter and uh, have it uh, cut out the vinyl.